Good afternoon, everybody. The unofficial kickoff to summer means more than one million North Carolinians will be on the road this weekend. AAA of the Carolinas says that's the highest number for Memorial Day weekend travel in 10 years. News 13's Lauren Brigman is live along I-26 in Buncombe County. And Lauren, some travelers you spoke with say traffic is already getting heavy. That's right, Evan. I spoke with a traveler who's coming from Knoxville, Tennessee to Charlotte along I-26 eastbound here. And she said traffic is really picking up once you get to Asheville all the way here to this rest area. We're near the Fletcher exit. So that's one area where traffic is already heavy here at the noon hour. Now, if you're heading out of town for this Memorial Day weekend, somewhat lower gas prices will help your wallet. The average price of gas in the Tar Heel State is $2.55 per gallon. South Carolina's average is it's 240. AAA says prices have increased over the last month, but they're still more than a dollar less than they were this time last year. Asheville does have the highest average price in the state, though. Now, some good news for travelers: most DOT work will be suspended starting at four this afternoon through Tuesday morning to avoid delays. Some drivers we spoke with plan to avoid traveling back home during the Monday rush. Others say they'll be practicing patience. No, I'm not going back until this holiday gets over with. Why is that? <laughs> because the traffic's bad on Memorial Day weekend. You know that. Just take your time. Have a great time. Don't get in too much of a hurry. Watch out for everybody around you, and you'll do just great. Now, the times when you can expect the most congestion is this afternoon and evening, of course, as well as Monday evening as travelers head home. Also expect to see more law enforcement on the roads. The Click It or Ticket campaign is underway. They'll be in full force checking to make sure you're wearing your seat belts this weekend, of course. And if you're not, you could face up to a $161 fine. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Lauren Brigman, News 13.